What's up guys, WWE Fan Talks you here today. I'm bringing you guys my first ever NXT predictions. Now these predictions are for the upcoming pay-per-view NXT TakeOver War Games, which is taking place in Los Angeles. I actually was thinking about going to War Games, um, but then I decided on going to Survivor Series instead. Um, so we're gonna start off with the first match. The first match, it was just announced for the pre-event, uh, announced for a pre-event, uh, yeah, I think it's like the pre-show or something like that. I'm not sure. Matt Riddle versus Cassis. Oh, no, I'm not sure if this is actually on the card. I'm um, actually just printed out a card, and this is what it says on here. Matt Riddle versus Cassis. Oh, no. Uh, I'm just going to go with Matt Riddle on this one. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of Matt Riddle or Cassis. Oh, no. I mean, they're both uh, great talents, but I'm just going to go with Matt Riddle on this one. So the next match on the card is Johnny Gargano versus Aleister Black. If you guys do not keep up with NXT, I'm sure most of you guys do. Uh, Johnny Gargano is actually the attacker of Aleister Black. That is pretty much old news by now. Um, but, you know, I think it's really weird how they're setting this up with Johnny Gargano kind of turning heel. I guess you could say he's turning heel um, versus Aleister Black. Even though Aleister Black seems more heelish to me just because of he's a dark character, pretty much. So I think this is a very interesting feud. I don't know the direction they're going to go in this. Um, I don't really see this contest ending with one on top of the other. Um, if it does, I'll go Aleister Black. Um, but I can see it ending in no contest just because I don't feel like this feud is going to end now. Um, it's been such a huge buildup just for it to end now. I don't think it's going to be that way. I think there's going to be a few more matches between the two guys. But if I have to pick one, I'll go with Aleister Black. Next up on the card, we have the NXT Women's Championship. Shayna Baszler versus Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie Sane. Uh, it is a two out of three falls match. I'm not sure if we've ever had a two out of three falls match for the women. So this might be the first. I'm not sure there might be there. I think there was one before. I'm not sure. Comment down below if there has been a two out of three falls for the women before. Uh, but it's either Shayna Baszler or Kyrie, Sa Kyrie Sane. I'm going to go with Kyrie Sane on this one. Um, I don't feel like Shayna ba Baszler is going to retain. I think it's kind of weird how Shayna Baszler won the NXT championship back. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I feel like Shayna Baszler will eventually move up to the main roster. Um, I feel like it's the right time. There's really nothing else left for her there, in my opinion. So I'm going to go with Kyrie Sane to pick up the win. And then moving on to one of the most exciting matches of the night, we have Velveteen Dream taking on the current NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa. I'm very curious to see who's going to come out on top in this one, just because I don't feel like Velveteen Dream is ready to... Uh, I mean, I feel like he's ready to win the NXT title. I just don't feel like it's time, if that makes any sense. Um, I feel like Tommaso Ciampa is going to retain this one just because, again, I don't feel like it's time for Tommaso Ciampa to lose the NXT championship. I strongly feel like Johnny Gargano is going to be the one down the road to take the title also off of Tommaso Ciampa. I don't see Tommaso Ciampa losing the title anytime soon. If Velveteen Dream ends up picking up the win, I will be very surprised. But my prediction for this one, Tommaso Ciampa to retain the title. Last but certainly not least, we have the War Games match, which consists of the team of Undisputed Era versus the team of War Raiders, Ricochet and Pete Dunne. Uh, Pete Dunne is the United Kingdom champion and Ricochet is the North American champion. As you can see, I have the UK title right here just because I also, I don't have the uh, North American championship yet. I will eventually, possibly 2019, not sure yet. Um, but who do I think is going to win this match? Is it going to be Undisputed Era winning it the second year in a row, which would be an awesome thing? Or will it be a new team to pick up the win, War Raiders, Ricochet, and Piton? I feel like the War, War Raiders are going to pick up the win on this one, including Ricochet and Pete Dunne, just because I don't feel uh, Undisputed Era is going to win again. I mean, that would just be kind of weird, but, you know, it'd make the team super dominant. But they are already super dominant, and I don't feel like they need to pick up the win on this one. But those are my predictions for War Games, guys. I know it's not as long as their Survivor Series ones, just because there's only like four or five matches on the card, which is insane. But thanks for watching, guys. Comment down below if you want to see more NXT predictions. Thanks for watching. WWE Fan Talk Show.